Hi everyone! For those of you who did not know, I vlog my life on how I juggle my full-time work while studying full-time as well. I'm currently in the office today as we are scheduled to work on site. I ordered a vanilla bean latte after lunch so I can survive the remaining hours of my work shift. Today is the only sunny day of the week as the rest will be mostly showers and snow. As I leave the office, I was surprised by how cold it was that day. I wasn't prepared. The next day, I came prepared by putting on a warmer winter jacket plus a beanie that I got for 50% off at the Black Friday sale. Today's weather forecast will snow, but it did not stop me from ordering the ice sugar oat latte from Starbucks. The next day is work from home day. This is also the day I do my rosemary water routine. I add rosemary water to my scalp and leave it on for 15 to 30 minutes before washing my hair. Articles say rosemary can boost hair growth. I noticed that I had a rapid hair fall ever since I started studying again. I guess maybe it's due to stress and pressure of traveling both work and university. During lunchtime, we ordered Jollibee through the Uber Eats app. Although I am now based in Canada, we are fortunate to have five locations of Jollibee in the greater Toronto area. I ordered their chicken tenders, which is their new offering on their menu. Jollibee chicken in the GDA only has legs and thigh parts, so I am really happy they added an all-white meat on their menu. It is surprisingly good. The next day was a sad news from my home country, Philippines. Kathleen and DJ announced that they are ending their relationship as a real couple. I was shocked and sad at the same time. Shocked that they broke up and sad that an era has ended. They literally were a part of my teenage years. It brought up a lot of memories with my friends who were also obsessed with DJ. Anyways, I'm happy for Kathleen for finally letting go of a toxic relationship. After work, I also went to York U for my night classes. I plan to stay a little bit late today as this is our second to the last lecture for winter semester. Time really flies. I left campus past 9 and was able to go home around 10 in the evening. Left stations. Entrance. Entrance station. The next day, it snowed and rained at the same time. According to the news, Toronto will experience the El Nino phenomenon. This means we will get more rain and less of snow. Not sure if it's good news as I sometimes love to see what we called a Hallmark movie snow where all the surroundings are covered with white, dry snow.
weekend finally came, so my sister and I decided to go to her university library. My sister is also taking a second degree at University of Toronto, which is located in downtown. A much closer university from our place than York U. She said she'll take me to the most beautiful library in their campus, the Emmanuel College Library. The library is located close to the museum station. It is honestly a hidden gem in Toronto. Most of the comments says it feels like a medieval dream. Some engaged couples even had their engagement photos taken from this exact same location. We started here for about two hours. It is very quiet and peaceful. You may also find several power outlets, so we call it a laptop-friendly place. After studying, we walk around downtown to find a new coffee spot but ended up going to Italy since we were running out of time. Italy was packed since it was a Saturday afternoon. I got the latte while my sister got the iced coffee latte. She did not like it so we ended up going to Starbucks so she could order her favorite iced caramel macchiato. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Hanggang sa muli. Paalam!